to play a game. Of course, you all knew We won't resort to doing that just yet. If I get super desperate, I'll try, but it's probably something else anyway. Let's kill these last few zombies. Well, here we go. Maybe you have to get to a particular round and there's like a challenge round where you have to survive. Like uh, like there was in... Um, what was that? That Lost Theme map. The Swan. That was such an amazing map. I'm so glad that uh, people like that custom map making for zombies is on World of War is so popular. Let's use this thing, get myself out of trouble here, because if it's going to be like at least a three-year wait now between zomb official zombies maps from Treyarch, it's just ridiculous, you know, that you have to wait that long, considering how popular zombies are. But uh, we have custom zombies, which are. Definitely as much fun as the <laughs> more recent official maps. It's just a shame they haven't released mod tools for like Black Ops or Black Ops 2. Can you imagine how good that would be? With no, no, I'm not saying like so that we can create Black Ops 2 style maps because some of those maps were not that great. Like Transit. There were some good ones, but you know what I mean, hopefully. Compared to some of the classic ones, Black Ops and World of War. But uh, I really wish they would release mod tools for Black Ops or Black Ops 2. But those, you know, the stingy do dogs at a track probably not going to do that or Activision. Probably won't because there's nothing in it for them. Um, Alright, well, finished off most of the zombies here. Back to the drawing board, guys. That's still doing nothing for me. Return when you are worthy. I feel like I'm worthy, but apparently I'm not. Uh, yeah, the other thing I have um, I enjoy doing with water sports is diving. Like, uh, I used to do a lot of snorkeling when I was younger. Um, free diving. Oh, look at that. that. That's where my upgraded weapon is. That's what the gold box is for. Maybe I have to pick that up. Maybe I have to pick that up to get... Um, to get that thing unlocked. Maybe... Maybe... Um, maybe the script requires you to actually pick it up. As well. Um, but... I don't know. Do I want to get it? This Megalodon's been doing me, doing pretty good by me so far, but I, I guess I've got the steam machine. Secondary's not that important anymore. Um, can't see anything else back here, unless it's like a poster or one of these... One of these things, it kind of looks like a barrier here, but nothing happens except for that skeleton burping. So one of these lanterns. Just going to search everything. Uh, anyway, talking about about diving, guys, um, uh, more recently I've actually got my international um, open water diving license. And that has been awesome. Like, I've um, been diving in places like... Um, Africa, Fiji, um, Fiji especially was awesome, like, the water there is so warm, and there's just such amazing stuff, let's, we'll grab this thing anyway, and see if that does anything for me, I'll just get some more ammo back for the steam machine, um, so I can still, that's still, hmm, yeah, it's, it's a little bit baffling. <laughs> There's, it's not like one of those maps where they have... Maybe these wheels do something. Like, they look kind of weird. 
it's not one of these maps where they have like a cheat sheet at the start that tells you exactly what you have to do to beat it. She's kind of good. There's a bit of mystery involved. And still does nothing. <laughs> Why won't you let me climb you? Return when you are worthy. Alright, we'll keep having a bit of a look around. Maybe there's some something I have to shoot somewhere. Let's try shooting these all of these skulls. There's one over here. Unless there's something like out in the out in the water, maybe, like there was in um Sniper Island. See if we can find some more of those skulls to shoot. Yeah, but um, probably my best experience diving was uh, in Fiji, where it was pretty much the last day of my holiday there, and we we were we were really wanting to see manta rays, and there was this area where we'd gone to try and find them, but um, they hadn't been there, and like we ended up going around and around this little island, and then we were like, well. <laughs> We'll have one more circle around the island, then we'll go. And we just spotted them just as we were about to leave, but it wasn't just one manta ray. Oh, shoot that guy. So it looks like we unlocked another gun up there, but uh, it's probably just the low level one. Um, do I have to shoot these? Sometimes you have to knife stuff as well, but. Um. Nothing under there. But, um, yeah, getting back to these these manta rays, I've actually got a video on my channel, guys. It's probably one of the few real-life videos I've put up on my channel. Um, I managed to um, dive with these manta rays, and there was about eight of them um, all swimming, like, around me and underneath me and next to me. And these things are basically like, like, look like huge stingrays, but they're harmless. But they're massive as well. They're bigger than the size of uh, like a family dining table. And they were doing these these really cool like uh, circles and everything like that around directly underneath me. And I managed to get it all on video, which is pretty awesome. But uh, And, you know, I've, I've seen sharks and stuff diving and um, things like that, which is, which is always pretty awesome. Um, lionfish in Fiji was pretty pretty amazing things like that it's uh, some, some incredible stuff over there Fiji is an awesome place especially if you're Australian because it's a cheap place to go as well and it's not that far away for us whereas Hawaii is a fair distance from Australia that's like a 10 hour flight um, closer for a lot of you guys who are in the US let's just kill this zombie I can't work it out, guys. It's probably something obvious. I mean, maybe I have to find a buildable or something for that guillotine setup. Unless there's something outside these windows I have to shoot. Hmm. Yeah, it's a mystery. <laughs> you got the treasure map. If it is a treasure map, it might just be a map. Yeah, I, w I wonder how long this map took Chaos. I know he's working on it a long time. But it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't years and years. It was, for the amount of detail he's put into this map, and customization and stuff, I mean, he he knows what he's doing. He he must be a be super pro at it in terms of like speed and everything like that. Skeleton's gonna tell us the story again. I wonder if he's taken that audio for the skeletons from somewhere, or if it's actual voice acting from by someone. Because if it is. If it is like voice acting by by Chaos or one of his friends or something, that is pretty awesome voice acting. I just got to say, 
A few people have put their voices into uh, custom maps, but usually you can tell that they're um, just some random dude. Alright, let's go another round then. Um, we'll, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. If nothing else, we're going to get to a high round. I think I got to... What round did I get to on TMG Skyland? Something like 40-something? Before committing suicide? Just because of the combination with this steam machine combined with the, um, the cartridge um, perk where you get ammo back is just such a, such a potent combination. And, and combine that with the fact that you can get ammo back from the Pack-a-Punch machine every round. And dog rounds on top of that is what makes it possible to get to some really high rounds on, on uh, this map in Skyland. If you do it right, you've got to know exactly what you're doing as well. And I mean, if you don't get this gun, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot tougher. Because there's not really too many areas to train on this. I think this spot where I am right now is possibly possibly the best area. And it's still pretty tight. This gun is not that good. Might as well use the ammo in it. Got to try and line these, up, these guys up get collaterals. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. I don't really need this, but I'll get it. See if I can get back up the stairs. Oh, it's pretty much the end of the round anyway. Sweet. Um, I'll pack a punch this a little bit later to get some ammo back for it. Let's just have a look around and see if there might be... I might have missed just one skull or something like that, maybe. That's all I can think of because those skulls seem pretty obvious and often Chaos will have like shootable Easter eggs. Have to be careful that zombie doesn't slap me or it's gonna die. Um, where would it be? I mean, I think I've li looked, <sighs> I think I've looked everywhere, licked everywhere, I said, but that would just be creepy. I remember how frustrating it was when I played Project X for the first time, like trying to find those little pieces for the, um, for the Easter egg with the, uh, the perk machine. This is the secret perk machine behind the bookcase. They spawn in random locations as well, and they're, they're really tiny, weird looking things. They're kind of hard to find sometimes. That, that was like the ultimate map back in the day, Project X. I've got a video of that on my channel as well. Um. I just, I just can't work it out, guys. <laughs> I gotta say, it is getting a little bit frustrating. Um, I'll keep looking around, though. I mean, I don't think it's going to be like getting to around 30, because that's... <laughs> it just wouldn't seem... It wouldn't seem normal, especially on a map like this, where uh, most people are probably going to find it challenging. Uh, maybe I should get rid of this gun, because it's not very good. Did that zombie die? No. I already shot that one. I know I did. 
Is there something on the end of the bow spritz or? It still doesn't do anything. I don't think it's glitched out because um, Chaos would have beta tested this pretty exhaustively. It would be cool if you could climb up the mast though, that's for sure. Hmm. The mystery continues. I don't know if it would be a good idea to have like a fireplace in a boat like this that's all wood. Pretty much the 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 major fear for people on boats is fire. It's the one it's the one big thing you don't want to ha happen while you're out at sea. Especially on one of these old wooden sailing ships. Might sound weird because you're floating on water, but uh is there a skull somewhere up one of these masts that I have to find? Probably going to be pretty hard to spot if there is one. I keep falling down here on this lower deck level. What an amazing job he's done though of customizing this. Because this is exactly, you know, it's, it's the perfect shape of a ship. And uh, I know it can't be too easy to, to get it exactly right like this and the proportions and everything like that. Okay, the zombie's definitely dead now, but I just can't see anything up there on those sails. I already shot these. Maybe it's those bird things. Oh wait, there's some skulls up up there. I'm not sure if I shot those ones. Oh, we got a dog around. Uh, we'll, we'll try shooting those two skulls near where Jug is and see if see if I, they're the ones I've missed. Come at me, dogs! I don't need the extra slide anyway because of, I think I've got all the perks in this map. It's pretty much easy street when you get this gun. <laughs> I'm glad they don't spawn behind me here, that's for sure. See the last? There we go. So I got another slot. No, it's not going to give it to me because I've got all the perks. Uh, max ammo, that actually came in quite handy. Okay, we'll shoot that. Did I get that? Did that do something? It didn't make a sound or anything, but let's go check. Still nothing. <laughs> Round 30. Nothing. I swear this map is going to be the death of me. Oh no! Let's get back to my spot if I can get there. Let's chuck one of those grenades. Round 30 though, these always going to be starting to get pretty hard to kill. Might be better off with monkeys actually. So I don't think that napalm grenade is doing the job anymore too effectively. Let's try and group them up as much as I can to conserve ammunition. Get them in a bit of a group. That perk is actually pretty good because it kills a few of them for me without using any ammo. 